Please welcome our next innovator, Yapta. It's co-founder and CEO, Tom Romery, and Yapta's Vice President of Business Development, Megan Kiernan. Thank you. A panic is brewing among the ranks of frequent travelers across the country. Life has gotten much harder for travelers who love to fly every year, and it's pretty simple. There's fewer flights and fewer choices available. It's much harder to find airfares that match your family budget and your small business budget. And last, it's becoming increasingly difficult to use the miles that you've spent years accumulating and putting into your account. It's fair to say that frequent travelers today are really looking for new solutions in travel planning. And while frequent travelers love to fly, I also believe that they become a little more grumpy in the sky. Now, I've spent a lot of time with frequent travelers over the years. Before starting Yapta back in 2006, I was vice president of marketing for Alaska Airlines and was responsible for a talented team of people who ran the award-winning mileage plan. And I got to spend a lot of time with elite travelers who were on my advisory board and would tell me very blunt feedback about what we were doing well and what we weren't doing well. And the things that I heard a lot were that frequent travelers were frustrated by the seemingly random and frequent price changes that they would see on their, on their favorite routes. And the thing to, to keep in mind about a, a frequent traveler who, who flies a lot on a specific airline is they're willing to pay for quality. They'll pay 100 bucks more for a nonstop on their preferred carrier. But what they don't like is overspending. They don't want to miss out on a deal. And we all know in the industry that the airlines employ very sophisticated yield management systems that maximize the value of revenue. These complex algorithms try to match supply and demand, but at the end of the day, the traveler is, the traveler is concerned with, who's got my back covered? I'm trying to not miss out on a deal, and I want to know when a price drops, but I'm going up against these supercomputers built by Sabre, so who's got my back covered? Now, one of the things that, that we've done at Yapta is we've gone out and we've built a tool that allows people to pinpoint the exact flights that they want to track, to cherry pick their favorite flights. We then go and check prices on those flights multiple times a day and alert people when prices drop. That way, we eliminate the fear that they may miss out on a deal. And I'll show you an example of how we do that. In this case, on yapta.com, and Megan will drive, I'm looking at uh, uh, going to Mexico sometime in February to escape the, the winter of Seattle, and I'm tracking 10 flights on Alaska, Continental. Yapta's going out and checking prices on those flights multiple times a day. And I'll get an alert if the price drops below a threshold that I set that says, hey, Tom, the prices drop below 650 bucks. Come and get it. Well, that's great because we know that, that people do want a little bit of inspiration. You know, to pay $1,000 to go to Mexico, maybe I can't afford that. But to pay, to pay uh, 600 bucks, maybe I can. And that's, that's really the beauty of Yapta is we deliver those savings direct to you. But in addition, even after you buy, we continue to track prices. And here's an example of a flight that I bought from Seattle to LA in December on Alaska Airlines. And I, I spent $365 and the, the price dropped to $269. Well, it turns out the guaranteed airfare policies of the airlines allow you to get a travel credit if the price goes down after you buy. This is built-in built price assurance that many people don't know about. And one of the reasons we connect people direct to the airlines to buy their tickets is one, they avoid a booking fee, two, they can make changes to their itineraries if their plans change. And third, that the airlines have these great pro-consumer policies that really allow you to book with confidence early in the, in, the, in the planning cycle. So in this case, I get this great email that says, you've won the lottery, you've got a $96 coupon on Alaska, call and get it yourself for free, or let you have to get it for you for 15 bucks. It's one of our revenue streams. Uh, we think this actually builds loyalty between traveler and airline because I now have a coupon burning in my pocket to go use on alaskaair.com, and there's only one place to use it, on Alaska. Now, back to our, our frequent traveler. One of the other frustrations I heard time and time again, as I mentioned earlier, the very foundation of airline loyalty programs and the confidence in those programs has been shaken recently. This is part of the panic. Lots of miles in your accounts, lots of ways to earn those miles through your credit card, through partners, through flying, you know, taking a Transcon, another 2,300 miles uh, in my account, but there's this fear that I I'm going to have a hard time using them. And maybe the programs are going to change so rapidly I won't ever be able to use them. 
Well, tomorrow at, Focus, at the Focusrite conference, we are announcing a new feature on Yapta that not, not only allows you to track prices on specific flights that you find that meet your criteria, but also track the availability of award seat inventory. At the peak level, at the saver level, we'll alert you when that price changes using miles. And guess what? Those are yield managed just like any other bucket of inventory. Now this is a, this is a big problem. Uh, estimated 17 trillion miles sitting in people's accounts unused. And the value of those miles is estimated at over $300 billion by travel luminary Peter Greenberg. That is a, that, that's half the value of the bailout that was just approved by Congress to put it in perspective. Now, if I'm an airline and my market cap is $5 billion, I'm pretty worried about this. So what, what Yapta has done is built a new solution to help you track uh, not, only, not only airfares, but also miles availability. Here's an example of how Yapta works. I'm going to plan a trip to Seattle, San Francisco. Yapta is smart enough and it stores my preferences. On that route, I, I like to fly either United or Alaska. Uh, it goes out and searches inventory, and it gives me relevant results based on my criteria. So we didn't innovate the interface, but what we did innovate is a feature that allows you not only to buy it right then direct from the airline, but more importantly to say, I'm going to track the price. And you'll notice that not only can you track the price, but it's going to go out and track miles for you. So it's a very simple click, and we now have it on your wish list. And what the magic is when I come back and I, I actually get this, this wonderful alert Oops, sorry. I get this wonderful alert that says, hey, that flight that you're tracking, the price just dropped. It was 50,000 miles when you, first, when you first saw it. Well, now it's available for 25,000 miles. So tomorrow in Yapta, you'll be able to get frequent flyer award seat alerts that goes out and tells you when you use it. Now, this is really important for the airlines because here's, you know, I get that alert. I come back. It brings me back to Yapta. Uh, I go in and, and look at the, the flight and uh, get connected directly with the airline. This is big for the airlines because it does solve a problem for them. We are not managing frequent flyer programs at Yapta. That's the airline's job. What we're doing is facilitating a transaction as a personal assistant. And we're connecting frequent traveler with, with the preferred airline. We are facilitating that transaction and, and actually everyone wins. In the, case of, in the case of the airline business, the Yapta model has several advantages. First of all, it's direct distribution. We connect people directly to the airlines to buy their tickets before they buy. That's low cost distribution. Secondly, as I mentioned, when people start using their miles, they get more excited about the program. They're more likely to spend that 100 bucks a year on the credit card. They're more likely to go concentrate their flying on that carrier. And then third, there's some real economic advantages to uh, these miles coming off the, the liability side of the balance sheet. Because not only does the liability get reduced, but also uh, there's deferred revenue on the asset side of the balance sheet. So a lot of air, airline finance people know this, but you know, when, when the banks buy miles from the airlines, uh, they can't recognize that cash as revenue until the miles get used. So the airlines win. But the real reason the airlines win is that grumpy travelers are no longer grumpy. They're happy. They're excited to be using their miles and using the benefit of their program and redeeming them on the flights that they want to take. So, Yapta believes that our innovation will have a profound impact on the industry. We believe that by 2010, that Yapta will increase miles redemptions through this system by 10%. Now that sounds incremental, but when you consider 17 trillion miles sitting in accounts unused, that's a big number. The other thing is that we know that we've tracked over a billion dollars worth of flights to date, and we've alerted people to $90 million worth of savings. Well, in this economy, when families are looking at their budgets and deciding whether to go visit their cousins this year, or, families, or small businesses are deciding, do I need to do a WebEx meeting instead of sending it out and having a face to face? Well, we, we would like to be the company that actually stimulates demand and matches price alerts to what you're willing to pay. We'd like to be the company that, that basically delivers more savings to small companies and families. And we expect by the end of 2010, we'll deliver over a billion dollars in identified savings in the form of lower prices. But you know, in, in, yes, on the surface, it may sound scary if I'm a, an airline, but really what we're doing is we're connecting what someone's willing to pay with what's available. So I'd like to thank you for your time and invite you to come visit us uh, during the conference. Thank you very much. Yapta.